I ask people for a fun fact, and not all fun facts are fun. It's kind of some mm. of them are a little bit more intriguing and interesting. And having worked myself in a, a, quite a serious capacity in retail at times, I've got an inkling of what's about to come. But yeah, I'd love to hear a little bit more about that experience being thrown in at the deep end at Alton Towers and what what happened there, what what you have to deal with as a result of all of that. Oh, okay. So, um, yeah, I can't really call it a fun fact, but um, my first ever, I guess, proper job um, was while I was still at university. So I was 19 years old um, back in 2015, and I landed myself a job on the um, product excellence team at Alton Towers. Um, you might be thinking, what does product excellence mean? Well, actually, the question you should be asking yourself is, what happened in 2015 at Alton Towers that was an absolute catastrophe? Obviously, there was a huge crash that everyone knows about. And uh, my team that I was working on was the frontline response. So we looked after the social media, um, customer services, um, day-to-day complaints, emails, phone calls. We were like the frontline response to anyone that was contacting um, the park at that time. And being 19 and that being your first job that was kind of only really a weekend job or a summer job while I was at uni was um, very intense. I didn't even know how to dress to an, to go Correct to an to office. Building, right? um, didn't really know what to wear, like um, how to turn up, what to do. And then all of a sudden, like, we were under national scrutiny because obviously this terrible, terrible thing had happened. And um, it was me answering the phone at 19. Um, it was really, really intense, I would say, but it gave me an incredible grounding to, um, I guess, boost my career from. And the amount that I learned in that space of time was um, was really incredible. I count that to you um, having a really good boss at that role. Um, in fact, the best boss I ever had. No one's quite lived up to it just yet. But um, yeah, that's my fun fact. Um, I started my career under duress. It's an amazing story, and and yet so many of the guests that we speak to have that kind of um, baptism of fire story somewhere in their somewhere in their history. And you know, I've I've got something similar that you know um, way back when, and I, I would never change some of the things that I've been through. They were horrendous at the time to go through, really really steep learning curves and and lots of hard things being pushed in your direction that nobody really wants to deal with. But realising that actually the book stops with you and, and just having to take ownership for that and deal with it really does forge a, a lot of tenacity and grit, I think, which is essential for being strong in business. 